Hello, Cheryl Ross here from Take the Lead Dog Training, and today I'm going to go over a quick review of how to use uh, the slip collar, nylon slip collar, and or dominant dog collar. I ordered these from canineleashesandcollars.com, um, and here is how you use it. They also come in all kinds of sizes um, and colors as well. So um, on your slip collar here, we have a clip end, a stationary loop end, and a floating loop end, well not an end, but in the middle. Um, so when you put this on your dog, you want to grab the clip end and the floating ring and put it around your dog's neck and clip the clip to the floating ring and your leash will connect to the stationary ring on that end. That way you get the movement through there. If you put the clip on where the leash should go on, then it doesn't do anything. So. Uh, once again, you want to take the clip to the floating ring, connect it around your dog, and your leash to the stationary ring. Pretty simple. Um, when you're fitting this collar or looking for sizes, you do want to fit it up high on the dog's neck right behind the ears, uh, and you don't want it to be so loose that it will fall down lower. So uh, measure your dog. You can also um, ask for assistance when ordering. Um, but I like these better than the chain training collars because with those ones they are only one size and if you have a dog with a blocky head and maybe a smaller neck then you have to get a bigger collar to fit over the head and then it's too big for the neck. So these ones can really be customized to your dog's size which is fantastic. Um, so again, canineleashesandcollars.com to get these. They're a really, really great product. Um, if you need assistance or help with training, feel free to contact us here at TakeTheLeadDogTraining.com. Hope you're having a great day, guys, and have fun training.